In this video, I am sharing 10 tips for how to plan your day to do less and get more done. I start off with a morning routine, which consists of, of course, but first coffee, meditation, getting ready for work, and making a green protein shake. Next up, I am off to work for a busy day as an executive assistant. Okay, we are on my lunch break, and this is one of the time slots that I like to use during the day to accomplish one task. And my task during this lunch break was to drop off my um, some medical records at my new doctor's office and pick up my blood work orders. Today's lunch break, that was my errand. I like to put a task like that, usually an errand or a phone call. Oh, I also made an appointment. So I actually got two things done. So two things checked off. I just ordered my lunch on the app to also save time and I will pick it up and eat it in my car um, just to have a few minutes of peace and quiet. And I'll usually listen to or you know, watch YouTube videos or listen to something educational. Weekdays, if you're working and you have five lunch breaks, that's five tasks you can get done during lunch break. Okay, done with work for today. Um, my, on my schedule for this evening is to work out and open up a couple of things that I ordered. So that'll be fun. Let's do that. Before I go inside and switch from work mode to at home mode, I just wanted to give you my top two tips as an executive assistant. There are two things that I absolutely do every single day to stay super organized and I manage a lot, a lot of meetings and projects. The first one is a master to-do list. Every single thing that I hear that I need to do, that is a meeting, that is a task, that is research, everything goes on one master to-do list and I check things off, I highlight them as they're completed. Must have. Number two, I do not set reminders, I set appointments. So every time there's something that needs to get done, I will time block it on my calendar. So I don't have reminders basically on my phone or anywhere because I feel like they're useless. I don't know, they don't work for me, but I do set appointments to complete tasks. So those are my top two tips as an executive assistant. All right, let's head inside and chillax. Oh, finally home, okay. So normally I would go ahead and change into something comfortable or I'm gonna go change into my workout clothes in just a minute, but I have, I'm just, I'm just excited. So I'm just gonna unbox the stuff really quick first. Here is my Simply Gilded um, subscription box, which is like washi tape and stickers. It comes with a little card and a box of washi tapes and stickers and a matching pen for the collection. I'll switch the camera in just a second and we'll look at that. So I've been enjoying that set every month from Simply Gilded. And then I had picked up these markers at Costco for $9.99 um, because you can never have too many paper made flare markers. I use them a lot. So, but these are scented. Some of these are scented, look scented can you believe it so i haven't tried any of the scented ones and i wanted to so i want to pop those open really quick these are scented so i just want to try a couple oh my gosh it smells so good have you tried these oh <laughs> this one smells good like lemongrass Oh, it smells like toothpaste. <laughs> okay. That's rose. This one smells good. It's like tropical. Oh, thank goodness. Look, they put the flavors on them. 
My favorite is goji berry and lemongrass. Those both smell really good. I'm gonna go change into my workout and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna play with some goodies in my planner. Great workout done. Yay, me. It's been a long time since I've been able to do a regular workout, but I'm committed to doing it. I'm trying to get healthy and you have to work out. Um, I drank a green juice. So these are some of the things that I'm tracking in my Erin Condren. This is all health, wellness, fitness. So I have my workouts down here whenever I do them. And then all these other things, depending what I'm in the mood to track. But mostly I like to track my um, food. I like to do that. And then in the shaded area, sometimes I'm tracking um, medications. Right now I'm tracking meditation instead of medication. So I did changing boxes yesterday, energy centers this morning. In case I do any other meditations evening times, I'll put those in there. You can also like track on your monthly. And this is where I normally, let me see, I'll go back to when I was actually exercising. So you can see. So here's how I like to um, track my workouts or whatever on the monthly. Um, so you can see at a glance. So here's what I mean. Here's May. I did two yoga, no workouts. February, I did a bunch of exercise. So good for me. Um, but it's just at a glance, so much easier to see it that way. This week, I thought it would be, oh, not Tuesday, Wednesday workout. And how am I feeling today? I think, I think I used this pen the other day. I think I feel this good. All right, let's hop on over. I wanna give you a couple more tips for actually planning in your planner, how to do less and get more done. So here's how you can do less. Take your planner layout, even if it has lots of stickers, especially if it has lots of stickers. If you need a lot of space for a lot of tasks, it should probably be in more of a list so that you can check things off and you have like a to-do list. For your actual time blocks of activities you want to get done, give yourself less. Less things to do, bigger time blocks. So that's kind of why I really like this layout because you have three time blocks a day. So the way I use it in general is I'm going to have probably at least three things a day, but not a lot more than three things a day to write in my planner. So like... Um, uh, this is a work week for me, so I'm working every day, but I don't need to write that in my planner. I know I'm going to work, but I do have a few things I'm going to write in my planner, and this is the way that I do it. I like to first think about these categories, self-care, friends and family, household, financial, and goal or goals. So within each of these categories, what do you have to do this week? It's that simple. Those are your priorities. Like, what are your priorities for self-care this week? So let's answer that question. What are your pri my priorities for self-care this coming week? Yoga on Wednesday. I'm going to do a workout on Tuesday. Now, I want you to see this. Like, I don't have to write it. This is like my fun planner. And this is how I like to use my planner. I like lots of stickers, but I don't have to put a lot of writing in here. When I want to use a lot of writing, now, it's, I love to write. I write a lot. I'm a, I just writing helps me get things processed. So, but I will do that elsewhere, not necessarily in my planner. I might do a little bit of journaling, like what happened today, but I use journals for writing. So my planner is a lot of stickers and just a few words. So I'm just going to write workout. No, I want to do workouts on Monday and Friday next week. So let me grab my eraser and put workouts on Monday and Friday. So under the self-care category, it might be me time or your favorite hobby, or it could be like doctor appointments or spa or, you know, taking care of your hair, going to the salon or nail appointments or whatever you decide is things you're doing for yourself. So Monday workout. So I'm just going to write it in sideways because I like my cute stickers and that's where it's going. And it's just, it's just for at a glance, very quickly, I can look and see the two, three things I need to do that day. 
All right, so I'm gonna do Monday and Friday. Since I did that on that one, I'm just gonna put this one sideways too, just for fun. All right, and yoga on Wednesday on the 14th. Friends and family, okay, we're doing move into dorm on this day. We're going to pack and probably go shopping on this day too. So I probably could use a place. Let's put the shopping here so then I'll have a little place for um, a shopping list. Something that's the same every week and we always still forget it. So it's always useful to put in my planner. And I need to go grab one of those cute stickers. Um, Tuesday, we need to get the trash ready. And um, I'm just going to write trash day. Okay, I found the household sticker book with these cute little trash can icons. That's perfect. We just have to get it ready this day um, to make sure it's out for Wednesday trash pickup. Um, I want to write in my morning routine on here so that you can see it's kind of the same every day and you pretty much saw it. It's really um, just a few things. So first, coffee. Okay. But first, coffee. Number two, meditate. And that is a priority for my for me right now. So that's my one thing that I'm doing in the morning. In the past, it's been different things like editing videos or other things, whatever is important to you, um, I suggest to choose something that's important to you and make that your very first thing in the morning. Um, number three that I'm trying to do is a protein shake. Is it protein or protein? I-E-N. Shake for breakfast, which I have to make. So that takes a little bit of effort. The dishes have to be clean. I have to have all the ingredients. Um, but that it, it is really good. So those are my main things and obviously get ready for work, but, um, that's my morning routine. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of posting, so I haven't had a whole separate planner for my social media and my, um, online business right now, but there are some videos that are going up this week. So on the 15th is a flip through of wrong wrongs fall collection that is already done and already posted so it will be automatic. Um, I will put a little note so that I know the launch is today. Wrong, wrong launch. And then I'll just have to do my community post, um, which is already created, and my Instagram post that day. So I will put these little stickies back in here after we finish. And then on Sunday is a plan with me. I have not finished this yet. So I actually need to do that on this uh, weekend. So I'm going to put that sticky note there. Here's another fun sticker. We have brunch scheduled for Sunday. Sunday after we get everything moved into the dorm. My son's moving into the dorm for this fall um, into college. Ah, crazy. So that is pretty much going to be our whole weekend. I'm going to leave this space here for anything that I need to do. Charge car. I'm going to give myself this little coffee date sticker on Monday because I usually like to go to Starbucks on Mondays. That'll probably be my lunch break and I just like to sit and plan. So I want you to see that I don't have plans Tuesday and Thursday nights. I will probably just relax. Um, I've been running on low energy, which is why I'm working on my health. So those will be my two evenings to just totally relax. I'm going to be playing with stickers, like grab one of these boxes and decorate my planner or my journal. Um, that kind of stuff that I do on, on my nights that I decide are time off. And that's another one of the best things to do is make sure you're setting time to recharge yourself. Rest time. So maybe I'll find some cute stickers to put there for rest and relax on those two days. So on these lunch breaks, I have, I will have a task. One thing, like I talked about today, um, one thing each day to do. So if I haven't already done it, I want to put it in between these two days. So that the car is clean for the weekend. Um, another thing I need to remember is to bring 
my yoga on this day. All right, here's another thing I need to remember to bring planner. I usually bring my mini with me to have a place to write things down in case I don't bring a journal or a planner, depending what I'm working on. So I want to bring a planner for that session on Monday. So that's it. Like I get a lot of questions about people asking me um, about what I write in my planner. This is how this is it like it's simple. This will be my simple plan for this week. As we get closer, I'll have an actual shopping list. I will have um, a task for one of these days. I will have probably some more things to get ready for the dorm move in and I fill in each day. So after at the end of the day, I write in my notes as to what happened that day. Okay, so you went with me today. I went to work. I don't need to write that on my planner. I know I'm going to work. I picked up orders at lunch and I made an appointment to fix the rim on my car and I did my workout. And also we filmed, I filmed this vlog today. That's it, like those are all my tasks. I did everything, I'm done. So I love to add stickers, they make me happy. Let's add a little planner on Monday for my little lunchtime planning sesh. So coffee and planner, so cute. Okay, let's recap these tips. Put together your morning routine with like one most important thing and do that every day. In your time blocks, choose one or two tasks that need to get done during that time rather than giving yourself too many things that you know they're not gonna get done. Pick the most important, get that done. Three, create larger time blocks like morning, afternoon, evening, and then Within those time blocks, you're gonna pick your one to two most important things. And that way, all those things will get done. Plan your time for rest and plan to not do anything during those time blocks. Create a master to-do list for any of your big projects like at work or if you have a project with a whole lot of tasks to do. Create one list and then as you go through the list, you take the items off of that list and assign them to appointments in your planner not reminders. Last but not least, track your progress. And you can do that in your daily planner or you can have a whole separate planner for important projects. Like for me, I'm working on my health. So I'm tracking this whole list of different things in different places in this planner. But yours will be whatever's important to you. Let me know in the comments if you got good value out of this vlog and more tip style video. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more planning videos.